Well, Paul, here we are on familiar surroundings for you with another charity walk coming up this year. It's going to be the biggest and best, isn't it? It's very special, Nigel. 30 years. Um, I thought hard and long, what could I do for such a huge milestone that I've been hoping to reach for, you know, for a, for a little while. Had me eyes set on it and I came down to thinking, well, 30, it got me something to do with 30. So we done 26 a few years back. So um, 30 miles it is. So a, a particular landmark then for all your fundraising and it's for a fantastic cause, Cancer Research UK. You've got a particular reason why you want to raise money for them, haven't you? I certainly have. Um, as many people know, uh, we had devastating news that uh, my, my dear wife Maureen um, diagnosed with uh, terminal cancer, incurable, untreatable. It was a it was a ball out of blue, hit us for six, shattering. But Maureen uh, Maureen is fighting to be involved. She has good days and bad days, and she's urged me whatever to to make this event special and to raise raise as much money as possible, particularly for rare cancers. Which, um, which she has. And um, I would like to say on behalf of us both to all the wonderful messages we've had of support and offers of help in everything else. It, it really has touched us, but we're still in the fight and um, Maureen is determined as ever to, to keep fighting and, and to be there for this event. And the date is the 15th of August this year, so right in the middle of the summer holidays when this pier, one assumes, is going to be packed, weather permitting, uh, and you're going to be pacing the boards. How difficult did you find it when you did the marathon here to keep motivated as you go round? I didn't really find it difficult, to be honest, to, to motivate, because I'm a very self-motivated person, and if I set my mind on something, I felt I was fit enough to do it. Uh, there were stages, you know, but the buzz, the buzz of the tourists going around, friends and many people coming down to support me, do cameo uh, laps around the, the pier with me. It was a remarkable day. And as you know, we had one or two illustrious guests and um, it was a super day. And I just feel that this one, we have to try and top it because this is a you know such a special milestone um, and I want to raise 10,000 for cancer research and you know I'm calling on really all the people that I've been involved with in charity fundraising for the last 30 years uh, to come down and join join this uh, very special occasion and help me get round. I think they, they'll, help me, they'll help me get round. No doubt I'll need some managing, you know, not go too fast too soon or, or make sure, you know, to balance everything. But, um, yeah, I'm immensely looking forward to it. So let's be blunt about this. We need the uh, local people of Western and Bristol areas and indeed local businesses to really get behind this. If businesses are out there, would like to get involved, we'd like to talk to them, wouldn't we? We would. I'm, I'm appealing to all, all the local companies to get behind this event and raise money for a, a wonderful cause. And it, it is a special occasion, not just for me and the charity, it is for the, the peer. And as we saw last time, the, the town, the community got very much involved. We had medics here, we had the police down here you name it we had it we had many dignitaries they all came down during the day to be part of it and that's very much what i want to repeat this time but only you know better it if we can